What's up, people of YouTube? Lunar Spire 1127 bringing you Bleach Chapter 476, The Lost. Not to be confused with The Lust, but The Lost. So, chapter starts off where it left off. Genjo activated his Bonkai. Ichigo responds to this. That's right, I forgot that you're also a substitute Shinigami. Really? You forgot that Genjo was a substitute Shinigami. How can he possibly forget that? Gen Genjo was talking about Soul Society and how they're spying on him, and Toshiro even told Ichigo that Genjo was a former substitute Shinigami. How can you possibly forget that? If it was some kind of like wise ass remark or something, that that that's not even funny. So anyway, Genjo says that you know, Fullbringers are attacked by hollows before they were born, that means that he has some hollow powers as well. Which makes sense because when you when last time we last week's chapter when Ichigo I mean when Ginjo um used Bankai he turned he had eyes like a hollow. Kinda also you know like um yeah like hollows but also when the uh, visards used the hollification. You can see like their eyes ha were dark. And he he it looks like he's turned white. So I guess that would make sense. So anyway, Ichigo's like, he swings his sword, he's like, bring it on, and they clash. You get the title, like, always. And the Shinigami, they're just standing there, looking up to the skies, watching Genjo and Ichigo fight. But they just turn around. And they start to leave. Because their, their mission was complete. They, the reason that they were here was because to see what Ichigo was going to, to decide, who he was going to side with. However, Kenpachi was just there because he was bored. Don't blame the guy. I don't blame him. <laughs> of course, um, we actually learned that there's more to this mission than we thought. Uh, this, uh, the Shinigami knew about Ginjo and they and they planned that if there was a new substitute Shinigami that then Ginjo would eventually try to get to him and I don't know maybe you train him and get him to join execution and the Shinigami were gonna use use that substitute Shinigami as bait to lure Ginjo out and and would eventually kill both of them so yeah they were planning to kill both the new substitute Shinigami and Ginjo only said new Shin substitute Shinigami was Ichigo and because of this, obviously, they decided, no, they're not going to kill both of them. They decided to just share their powers with Ichigo. And, of course, you know, Rukia all was opposed to this because, well, she knew Ichigo would never go along with the enemy. Which explains the her voice coming out from Ichigo's combat pass a few chapters ago, way back. Because since their objective was done, they leave everything in Ichigo, like always. And, of course, Rukia is, you know, praising Ichigo, saying that she, he's never changed. And because thanks to him, Soul Society managed to change Soul Society. Millions of years of... Million years of Soul Society's rules, orders, restrictions, and all that. Yada, yada, yada. And yeah, uh, Ichigo and Genjo obviously start fighting. The artwork actually is not that bad. It actually looks pretty cool. But I think it'll look the fight will look even better in the anime. So yeah, they're just clashing their swords. They're cutting each other off. And during all of this, I think it was Genjo who starts having this inner monologue while he's fighting Ichigo. I don't know why he's having this monologue. I guess. Uh, I guess Kubo wants us to feel sorry for Gen Genjo, which is kind of hard to believe after everything he's done to Ichigo, so... Also, why do we have to feel sorry for Genjo? Because we know that he's just going to be an enemy that will eventually disappear. He'll disappear and he'll never be seen again. We're just, like, waiting for Aizen's return, because obviously Aizen's going to come back. So, not feeling sorry for him. But anyway, 
during the fight, Gincho unleashes a Sero, but Ichigo catches it, and the chapter ends with Ichigo slashing him. Just giving him one big slash. So, yeah, is that it? That is the battle over now? I hope not, because if that is tr if it was over, then Ginjo would obviously have some sort of flashback, have an in another inner monologue or something. I'm just hoping we could elaborate on Ginjo's plan. I mean, I I still want to know many th things about him and Tsukishima and and the execution. But I don't. I'm not even sure if Kubo's gonna elaborate on anything. We only had like glimpses. We only have like portions of their intentions, but nothing, nothing else. And as so, this chapter, I I guess this is okay. I mean, I'll admit it was better than last week's chapter. Uh, the artwork's pretty good. When Kubo can draw, when he puts effort into it, when it's not just huge panels of black and white that you can't even make out what's going on so I guess so yeah and fight seems to pro seems to progress a bit more I'm kinda hoping that it's not the end I mean there's obviously more to each to Ginjo's Bankai maybe who knows maybe he can he can turn into a hollow himself or I don't know something like that also bugs me is I know Ginjo's um latest scaffold, I think that's what it's called, his full bring, but does he have a Zanpak toe? Because how the hell could he have how could the hell could he, you know, like have Bonkai when he I guess he has Bonkai from absorbing Ichigo's Shinigami and full bring powers. Yeah, I get that. But does he have some sort of Zanpak toe of his own or something or because he, he was a former substitution Igami, so obviously he would have a Zanpak Toes. Um, I'm just wondering about that. And also about Ichigo, there has been a lot of talk that Ichigo ha is just is not much of a great shonen character. I mean, I'll admit, Ichigo doesn't actually have any goals. Or any purposes for that matter. I mean, why he... The only reason I could possibly think of that why Ichigo wants to become strong, why he wants his powers, is because Ichigo just wants to protect everybody. That's pretty much it. The reason he wants to use these powers is just to protect his his sisters, his father, his friends, the Shinigami, everybody. That's that's pretty much it. I mean, Luffy's per goal and purpose is to become king of the pirates. Naruto's purpose and goals was to become Hokage. But then I think it changed to save Sasuke. Ichigo just wants to protect everybody. And that's pretty much it. So, yeah, that's uh, Bleach Chapter 476. Chapter was okay. Uh, the fighting progressed a bit more, which I'm glad. Um... So for this chapter, I'll give it a 7 out of 10. I know it's a bit high for Bleach chapter. I mean, I did like it a little bit, but I didn't like it a lot. So I'm just... So that's just how it is for me. Um, so next week, uh, who knows? I think he, I think Gincho's not going to be dead yet. Um, he might have like some sort of flashback, a brief flashback, a, a little bit of an inner monologue before... Maybe in the last page he'll turn into a hollow or something. I mean, he does have hollow power, so obviously that that could happen. I just hope that... I just, but honestly, I just want this arc to end. I just want to move on to something more interesting. I mean, Fulbring arc, it hasn't been a lot... Hasn't been that good for me. I mean, it, it was okay after the Fulbring training, but I don't know. I don't know anymore. So, yep, yeah, this is Lunar Spire 1127, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!